What's up guys? This is Techno Blast on Technos Gaming. How's everybody doing this morning? Well, what well, you just saw the intro for Gravity Chase. It's by Repixel 8 and it's a racing and flying type uh, race game. Now the description of this game is welcome to the futuristic anti-gravity arcade racer with a twist. Gravity Chase racing competition takes place on a tunnel tracks for super fast 360 degree zero G racing. Skill and precise piloting are required to follow the optimum line along the strategic use of pickups, power-ups, and weapons in order to progress through the race series. Now, I'd like to first thank uh, Repixel for giving me a review key of this game just recently. It came out a few days ago, well, uh, almost half a month ago on uh, September 20th, 2022. It does have a uh, local co-op, so from two to four players. Uh, for for a split screen or you can just play by yourself with some bot sets that's there now since i just started the game uh, i've only i only had about two or three tracks available and because i progressed a little bit to the first two tracks i have unlocked uh, an extra one here while all the other ones are still locked so you can have to race uh, win and unlock the following tracks as you play through the game, you know, whether you win or not, it keeps track of what place you you place in these tracks and these tracks here when these races. As you can see on the right side, it shows that I last time I played, I was in second place. And in this track, I was first place. Now, there's three types of races uh, that you can select from. You can do arcade, which is just a classic arcade racing points and money awarded by finishing position. Then there's combat racing, which is you still race to win the position. But at the same time, you have some shield and you have some weapons and a boost to uh, to help you along the way. Uh, the eliminator is every 30 seconds, the last place racer is eliminated. Stay up front to survive. So don't be the last person to um, to be, you know, don't be the, the person in the last place because you're gonna get knocked off the race. Uh, usually for me, I picked combat racing or combat race. And for anybody who's new to this, you may want to try beginner because I tried advanced a little bit and they were a little bit tough. So I started playing on beginner and that was a little bit much better for me. Now, from the very, very start, um, you know, you get to select your ship that you want. Um, every, every, every one of them has their own specific uh, advantage, whether it's weight, strength, handling, max speed or acceleration. I just kind of went on I went on looks so I went on I think it was this one the speed class I selected that one and every time you win whenever you finish a race you earn some some currency and with this currency you can upgrade uh, your ship so here I upgraded the handling so I can handle the car better because it does kind of kind of get wild once you're in the tunnels so for me I think this is the max so far let me try to upgrade so I met, yeah. So for now, see the little blue marks on the on the top right corner for the for the stats. I've maxed it out, so I can't in, you know enhance the the max or the handling anymore. But if I wanted to uh, improve the acceleration, I could, or improve the top speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and improve the top oh, the acceleration for a thousand dollar or thousand credits, and I could do it one more time. Let's just do, yeah, let's do one more time. So now I have 200 credits left, but I've maxed out my acceleration, which means I can, you know, accelerate faster. So once you are done with upgrading your ship and when you do these upgrades, it's uh, it's an upgrade to that specific ship. So it doesn't go across all the ships. It just goes to that one that you've you, that you chose as your favorite. And then you can select your color. Like for me, just to kind of keep it consistent with the Xbox, I like Xbox green. So that's the one I've been selecting so far. And that is it. So let's go ahead and continue on. And what happens here after you select uh, and you upgrade your, your ship, then you come into this little pause screen. It kind of gives you a, a little uh, picture on the bottom left corner on how to play the game. So the left trigger is your brake. Uh, the left bumper is your music. You can, you can switch to different music. Uh, with the right bumper, you could turn it off if you wanted to. Uh, the left analog stick is your steering. The right analog does nothing. The D-pad does nothing. Um, your right trigger is your acceleration. And your weapon, you got one weapon and that's the Y button. Uh, it's not on all the time. You have to 
like pick up do some pickups to get some weapons the same with shield uh x does nothing and you do have a boost and and that's the a button so boost is a button the shield is b and the fire your weapon is y now as you're as you're racing down the tunnel it does get a little bit crazy to, depending on your shit's ability can can it handle some of these turns these 360 turns and um you know make sure you concentrate not hitting the red red little obstacle things that are there uh the one with the with the square and the x in the middle you want to avoid that and then there's there's red pickups that you can have and um so you know if you get if you get hit by the red bumper or the red uh squares then you may you get slowed down and your shield goes oh. down so it's possible that um, if you hit it again or somebody shoots you then uh, your ship is destroyed for a split second and you come right back into the race again but of course you're kind of in a different position of the race because you know everybody else has passed you up it, it's a fun little race if you want to kill some time you know you want to change the scenery you know compared to the other games you may be playing um, but yeah you, you have to kind of concentrate on the tunnel that you're you're racing you know look ahead a little bit and try to make sure you you uh, avoid any uh, any of those red pads that you find on the on the floor uh, if you if you go through 360 like crazy you can lose control and orientation of where you're at and which will cause you to fall back in your position of the race which is not good overall the game is fun it's 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 a quick pickup and let's go play um, there there's not much progression whether I mean it's just by points uh, as long as you win you gain some points and you can unlock new races and the new races uh, get crazier and crazier because from what you see in the intro uh, there's a there's a race that you could do externally of this of this tunnel so right now it's just a simple uh, races through the tunnels itself while inside of it while the advanced tunnels will let you race on the outside of it all right guys so Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, enjoyed the Gravity Chase. Uh, like I said, it just came out recently on Xbox. And if you're interested, hey, check it out for yourself. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments section. Always remember to like, comment, subscribe. And this is Technoblast, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.